Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here at Twist Gaming, coming to you live from Origins Game Fair 2017, Columbus, Ohio. I am Anne. I am joined today with my co-host... Jeff. <laughs> Jeff the co-host. <laughs> it's, it's dynamic. It's, it's really working. Hey, Jeff the co-host. Yeah, it's me. Uh, we also have with us... Brent Critchfield. Not the co-host. Correct. <laughs> yeah. uh, Brent is from Studio Woe, and we were able to feature his game, Gruff, on our show a couple of weeks ago. I had an absolute blast playing it. Thank oh, yeah. you so much for letting us play. Oh, you're very, very welcome. I have something for you, too. You have something? Oh, gee. There you go. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I saw the rage in your eyes. I was like, hey, man, you're like, he forgot Gaptooth, didn't he? I don't, I don't see it with Gaptooth. So, <laughs> they have, they, he's great. They have the character Gaptooth, mm -hmm. and he's just so ugly, and he's adorable. Hmm. Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> this is what he looks like in the player map. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's him. Oh. <laughs> And I was, I, I think we were doing the review session near the end, and it, you use Gaptooth as a player token, but I kind of felt like, I felt like you guys made him, and just, he needed to be made. Uh-huh. And then player I, I feel like we made the top. game so that we could create the Gaptooth mini, <laughs> uh, and that was the, the yeah, he's there because, you know, Kickstarter. But Because <laughs> 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 Kickstarter. <laughs> no, so he's absolutely adorable. Um, how has your Kickstarter been going? Since we last spoke, uh, doing really good. We uh, just hit two hundred and thirty percent funding. Congratulations! So, yeah, we're uh, doing really, really well. We like, um, like we said last time, it funded in like eight hours. It's crazy. Yeah, super crazy, and it's been doing really, really well. Lots of excitement about it. We've got a whole bunch of like the the excitement about it is crazy because the people that are enthusiastic about the game, like we had a guy write this whole sonnet, this epic poem about Stop. his goats. Oh yeah, totally. Really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> He felt the monster goats like it was in his soul, and uh, there was this other stretch goal that we had that was that was we were gonna make a, a legendary version of one of our goats, but it was gonna be infected with this funk fiend disease. And this lady was like, "No, hashtag cure for grinder. Like we're not gonna let this happen." The goat's name is Grinder. Grinder, yeah, yeah. All right. No, yeah. He looks like a buzzsaw. He does oh, okay, look like okay. a buzzsaw. Yeah. Yeah, not that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, moving, on. Yeah. moving on. Yeah. So so she started this hashtag cure for grinder. She started doing watercolors of of grinder like in memoriam grinder, <laughs> and uh, and then like it created this whole online hashtag battle between inflict the funk and hashtag grinder or cure for grinder. And so I was just like, fine. Like whoever wins is the kind of kind of legendary goat we're gonna make. How does that look? So either he's gonna be like this nasty pustulously infected like grinder legendary skin or he's going to be this resplendently glorious uh viking goat so one way or the other who's winning right now oh you know what if you would have asked me two days ago it would have been inflict the funk but i think like cure for grinder the passion the good in the Guys, human, human heart hashtag cure for grinder i am inflict the funk, yeah, inflict the funk. <laughs> <laughs> feel very outnumbered right now <laughs> Uh, for our, our viewers who may not have had the opportunity to see our playthrough of the video, what is Gruff? So Gruff is a tactical combat card game about mutated monster goats. So the idea is that once upon a time, there are the three billy goats Gruff, and they're trying to cross a bridge when they got stopped by a troll that wanted to eat them. But the goats outsmarted the troll, knocked him off the bridge and killed him. And when that happened, their shepherds realized, you know what? We've been using goats all wrong this entire time. What we really need to do is weaponize our goats. So using black magic and foul <laughs> science, forbidden breeding practices, you've transformed... Hey, this is serious. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So forbidden breeding practices, you transformed your herd into the ultimate team of fighting goats. Actually, this is really crop. dark, because they're like genetically <laughs> yeah, uh, they are. like molested these goats for <laughs> years, I think. For years, yeah. for generations. Oh my for, god, these yeah. poor goats. Yeah, these poor guys. Yeah. So you've become the shepherd of woe, you got your ultimate team of the most messed up battle goats, the meanest, weirdest, fattest battle goats the world has ever seen, <laughs> and you're trying to cross a bridge one day. And uh, there's this other shepherd coming from the other direction with their team of battle goats. So of course there's really no choice except for to fight to the death. Obviously. Obviously. I have a hard time even conceiving what any other option could have been. So that's what we do. Fight to the death Fight with the battle goats. The artwork on this game is absolutely amazing. I agree. Yeah, 
You gonna tell us a little bit about the artist? Yeah, so the artist is this brilliant uh, concept artist from the video game industry by the name of Virginia Critchfield. And she is, has a pedigree from uh, from uh, Riot. Uh, she worked on, uh, on on League of Legends for a little bit and on other projects over there. And she also worked on uh, uh, at Vigil Games, which made uh, Darksiders, and worked on the Warhammer 40K MMO. Uh, worked at uh, Disney's Video Game House for a really long time. But, like amazing pedigree and like super super prodigious artist. Uh, and I married her. Uh, by which, the way, by the what way, work did she do at Riot? I'm curious because my cousin uh, did the well, she's did like, voice work for multiple characters. She's uh, she, well, she's super, super early on concept artist. Mm -hmm. So she did a whole bunch of uh, pre-production concept art for what later became the art update for Summoner's Rift. Oh, okay, um, cool. yeah, I actually worked on that too. I was oh, I really? was one of the world builders on the art update. Oh, for that's so Rift. like what? I don't know if our viewers care, but uh, so in college, I was part of the game design group. One of my friends went on to be uh, one of the lead programmers at Riot for League of Legends, and my cousin did the voice work for like Vivi, the little mage oh, yeah. guy, and like a bunch of other characters too. Yeah, weird, right? Is a male cousin, female cousin? A uh, male. Male cousin. Is actually married to my female cousin. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the guy in college was Matt Fielding. If you Matt Fielding? Yeah, I do know Matt yep. Fielding. Yep, well, that's, that's nice. college killer. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> He's a super nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of the guys around are super cool. Yeah. Super yeah. cool. Yep, yeah. yep. Same thing with Vigil. Vigil, those are the Dark Siders guys. You'd think for how, like, metal their game is, they'd be, like, <laughs> super intense and, like, really hard to work with, but they're the coolest guys. I might have had his title wrong. I don't know exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's between what you, you and Riot Legal at this yeah. point. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm I never gonna worked there. I was just like, what there. was this social... I think it was like Leeds something, but whatever. Yeah. But do you want to bust out some of the artwork? The Ooh, goats yeah. are awesome. They're all individual. They're really cool. Yeah, so we got some classic goats and shepherds up yes. in here. So let's pull some out. Okay. So first and foremost, we have to talk about Fluttermind. All hail the Fluttermind, praise his glorious tentacles. <laughs> so Fluttermind is, so he's the only intelligent gruff. Okay. Yeah, he's super smart, but the only thing he cares about and the only thing he talks about is Fluttermind and how awesome Fluttermind is. Oh, jeez. So he's so just he's all a super like, humble goat? Yeah, super humble, humble goat. <laughs> and my favorite thing in the game is when, when the mechanics of the, the goat really kind of like match the personality and so Fluttermind's abilities are like annoy that's a goat irritate oh yeah obnoxious. that's my kind of goat <laughs> that's my kind of goat man phrases that you don't hear enough in, uh, in real life so it's a deep thing I'm into yeah. it yeah yeah <laughs> nice he starts like off with the meanest of one yeah, he's and he, weird of one, all the ones. Well, he's got a mere, mean weirdness of one, but he grows weirder faster than any goat in the game oh, because okay. he can get weird just whenever he's moved. Okay. So anytime oh, wow. anything causes him to change positions, he just gets weirder and more obnoxious and more strange. And I feel like it really fits with like, like, like he has this line in his flavor text that he's like, he's like, Fluttermind is the most cursed of all creatures. For everyone else can bask in his glory, but not him. <laughs> I didn't know you turned Matt into a goat. <laughs> he's gonna be he, he's gonna be very upset you didn't tell him. Oh, yeah, is so so flutter mind. Yeah. Praise his glorious tentacles. So uh secret fact. Um, if you're at Origins, this won't do you any good because we're already out. But if you come by my mat, uh, but come by my booth and say, "All hail the Flutter Mind," we actually have like secret loot that we give away. To <laughs> Remember that. Yeah. For the next. Con. Yeah, you have to say it like in a really loud voice. You got to be like, "All hail the Flutter Mind," and then I'm like, "Praise his glorious tentacles," and then I uh, then I'll give you a uh, you know uh, a super secret thing. I won't say what it is because it'll change over time. So so that people that get it one time are still interested in doing it again. But yeah, that's Fluttermind. Yeah, so he's got guards like ego and grandeur and annoy and irritate and flutter and hubris and madness and yeah, he's just he's just a giant cuddly ball of tentacles. <laughs> uh, I've got stories about gobs, which I probably can't keep PG thirteen, but but his name used to be kind of R rated, so <laughs> we we changed it for for obvious reasons. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> and we talked about gap tooth already. Yes. You want to hear about a, a goat that's a brain in a jar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I ever? Noggin. I ever. So this is Noggin nine six three. Uh, another, I guess, Easter egg for the game is that he's called Noggin nine six three because if you type in the word "woe" for Studio Woe on your phone, 
It's 963. That's very cute. <laughs> it's very dumb. We need to come up with numbers. How are we going to come up with numbers? Yeah, so it was it was that. If you put put, uh, put whoa in your phone, it's 963. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Do you have grinder in here? <laughs> you say so matter-of-factly. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, of course I do. Grinder. Grinder. So we were uh, over at... Um, over at a previous convention, uh, okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about previous convention. And so over at PAX East, I was with my volunteers, and the idea came up of like, what if Gruffs were more like Pokemon, like where they just say their game name, and we were like, what, <laughs> what would grinder. that be like? <laughs> and we were like, no, because it wouldn't be grinder grinder. It'd be like grinder <laughs> grinder. That's, that's disturbing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't know what kind of came over him. And I've heard, I've heard people describe Gruff as a mix between like Pokemon and Red Rover, or because uh, <laughs> uh, it kind of is like there's an element of like the American football style, like you got your defensive line, you're yeah, trying yeah. to like charge your linebacker through it, to, to, you know, so. I can see. I, I think it's more of like a mixture of like Final Fantasy tactics and, and American football, but like, I uh, and Red Rover and Red Rover. <laughs> <laughs> but I but someone said that once. Oh, but, yeah. So Grinder's thing is just he's like, he's like. So what would it be like to attack something that looked like that? Do you want to do you want to show the yeah. the fine folks at home? This is the goat with the um, hashtag battle going on. Yeah, the hashtag battle of like. What are we gonna do with with Grinder? Whether or not we're gonna make him more spiky and and more furry and more uh, more more lovingly Viking Uber goat, yeah. or uh, or is he gonna get all nasty uh, and pustulated? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I just want to see him like just a giant he's puddle of looking. spikes and fur. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all of his cards are like spiky, pokey. Like if you attack this guy, you're gonna. You're gonna walk away with bloody knuckles, so. <laughs> the goats are really well themed with their action cards. Do you want to go over a little bit about the basic mechanics of the game? Yeah, sure. So uh, the the basic mechanics are actually super simple. Like you have goats and you have a shepherd. So what we got here is we got a gristle. He's like this uber Viking shepherd, and we're gonna of course play with Flutter Mind and <laughs> Flutter Flutter and Flutter Flutter, flutter Mind and. Uh, <laughs> And so for like a, a, a very well balanced deck, you kind of want a weird goat, a mean goat, and a fat goat. That's how, like the basic deck building 101. So let's grab, let's grab Gap Tooth. Okay, we're gonna play with the stars of the show so far. So we've got Gap Tooth, Flood of Mind, and Grinder. And every turn, it's uh, like I said, really simple. You draw a card, you choose and activate one of your goats, and then you can play some cards and you make a tactical action. And that's kind of the meat and potatoes of the, of the game is a tactical action. So at the beginning, uh, so what you'll do as a tactical action is you'll activate a goat and you can choose to do a bunch of things. You can, you can switch uh, positions with a goat called a shift action. You can uh, grow your goat and add one to one of their three stats. You can have your goat perform first aid on a goat and bring him back to life. Uh, that's called the resurrection action. Uh, but the most important thing is you can attack. And in Gruff, when you attack the... Uh, you attack straight across all the time, so this guy's gonna be attacking Noggin. And uh, and when you attack, you'll charge at that position, like you're charging along this big long bridge. And when you're charging along the big long bridge, your opponent can see it coming for a long way away, right? And uh, um, so you'll charge at this position, but it won't deal damage right away. It'll deal damage at the beginning of your next turn. And that's kind of the crux of Gruff, is that your opponent can see the attack coming and they can spend their entire turn playing abilities dodging out of the way, uh, maybe launching a counterattack in a different position. So that's kind of the, the crux of the game is uh, is moves like this. It's like uh, the other goat hit team is, you're attacking a big mean goat like Gusto the Goater Cycle. These are important names. <laughs> Gusto. <laughs> Gusto. <laughs> Gusto and, the and so you've got a big fat goat on the other side of the board. Well, you can activate Gusto and you don't want him to die to the big nasty grinder goat. Right. So you can play a speedy card, jump out of the way, swap with your big fat goat, and then launch a counter attack where the other guy's weak, which wouldn't be gapped if it'd be Flutter Mind. But that's kind of the thing. It creates this constant state of punch, counter punch, uh, yeah, counter play in perpetuity kind of thing. And and the, the thing, another thing that's interesting about the, the game is that the way that the resources work, your resource curve is exponential. So you'll start first turn at like 
you'll have one resource to use, second term maybe five or six, and then you go to like 18 and then 30. And that's kind of how the, yeah, that's how the game kind of feels too. It's like, like this went to 11 really fast. Yeah. And so uh, every move you make in the early game is about getting you into the right position to land that fatal pl- blow in the end game. Yeah. Pretty cool. Awesome, awesome game. I really enjoyed it. I had yeah. a lot of fun playing it. I'm glad you dug it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it too. Where where can people buy it though? Uh, so you can pick it up at studiowo.com or at your friendly local game store. We're actually in wide distribution throughout everybody. Uh, so if your hobby shop doesn't have it, you know, tell them we demand gruff. Yes. Hashtag cure for grinder. <laughs> Make this happen. I mean, I wouldn't walk in your game store and start talking about Grinder. <laughs> no. like, out of nowhere without context. <laughs> Probably not. Probably like, hey, not. I'm looking for a, a gruff grind, grinder. Grinder? <laughs> <laughs> like a, so someone told me to be looking for these things, and I just need help. There's one other really good place where you can find gruff, which is right now, gruff is actually on Kickstarter. Yes. Yeah, game three, Rage of the Trolls. Uh, so, Rage of the Trolls. Trolls? Is, yeah, true story. Like the one that was murdered under yeah. the bridge? Yeah. yeah. So, oh. there, so, there was this faction called the Funk Fiends, and they thought, you know what would be smart is we're going to make our monster goats by grafting in organs and tissues from trolls that we've captured. Of course. Yeah, good idea, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, so it created this plague that, like, destroyed their world. Anyway, there's a facility. <laughs> <in> <laughs> the, Let me just skip <laughs> over that part. Yeah, I skip over that part. So, <laughs> no for next time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they were tra- they trapped all these trolls in the in this facility, and eventually one of the trolls that had, uh, had escaped the troll wars broke in, let them all loose, and then uh, you know, and all hell broke loose and you know wrecked the place. So, but mechanically speaking, the cool thing that it does is the trolls are a co-op and single player AI deck. So now all of a sudden, not only can you play uh, this kind of competitive positional game. But you can also play it with a friend instead of just against a friend, or play it just by yourself to help you tune up your decks and mm-hmm. uh, and try new cool things that way. So yeah, Rage of the Trolls and some really cool goats inside of there too. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, fun stuff. Half goat, half troll. Yeah. Half goats. Man, the uh, the abomination <laughs> of the troll. trolls. Order three, troll. three quarter <laughs> goat. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Awesome. Awesome. Anything else that you'd like to like, make sure our audience knows before we bid it to? Yeah, no. Just uh, come by our Kickstarter. Show us some love and uh, and uh, support the game. We've got some really cool trolls right on the verge of getting unlocked as, as a stretch goal. Do you know what your next stretch, stretch goal is? Do you know what your stretch troll? Yeah, actually. Stretch, yeah? Uh, yeah, his name is Khan the Immortal. He's uh, the Immortal Khan is this gigantic... Extremely hard to kill, tanky troll. That's perfect for when you're testing out, uh, uh, like how to build, how to build against a turtley deck. Okay. How to build against the wall, and so, so this is the the, the troll that you would use to, to test against that. And cool. he's this giant ball of spikes and and Just nasty. Breaks through. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So please come and visit our. our oh, actually, there's one little thing that's happening today. I, I I feel like I shouldn't mention it. No. But you uh, can tell me anything. Yeah, today's my birthday. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday! Do we sing now? Uh, no, don't. That will that will get sued. We'll we'll have no no. Yeah. It's not not Ten copyright seconds. infringement, but happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. <laughs> so the the boxes can talk, so we can sing. Happy birthday! It wasn't me singing. Oh. Where where can uh, lawyers find you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, my name's Bob. Yes. <laughs> the subpoenas be yeah, subpoenas can be sent directly to Studio O at Facebook.com. I'll be sure to get them there. Yeah, please do. Awesome. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to show oh, this. Oh, thank you. Again. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. Here you go. Bye, Gap Bye-bye, Gap Good boy.